Hello, I'm Carol Celine, and I'm talking with otolaryngologist Dr. Howard Krein. So, Dr. Krein, your your specialty is ENT, ear, nose, and throat, but you do facial plastics and reconstruction. You sort of split your time half and half. Tell us a little bit about the kinds of things you do in reconstruction. So I specialize specifically in the head neck area. And what we see is people who have either gunshots, traumas, cancer, that kind of stuff. Um, my specialty uh, involves microvascular surgery. And what we do is if somebody loses, whether it be part of a jaw, an eye, a tongue, um, we're able to take different parts of the body, whether it's your leg or your arm or your, or your back, and move that tissue, and it could be bone, it could be just soft tissue, into the area that needs it, and then we're able to sew a, a artery and a vein together and give this tissue its own blood supply, and then it actually begins to function in the area that you needed the tissue. So if you lose part of your mandible, we can take a bone from your leg with the blood supply, move it up to your mandible, and give you complete form and function back. <sighs> and the, the, the neat part is you can even put teeth into this bone so you have, uh, you have a completely functioning mandible at the end. Oh, it's fantastic. Now, in plastic surgery, maybe it's not quite so dramatic. What are you doing um, in plastic surgery? What's well, I think the, the new thing that's out really is um, what we call max lifts. And these are, these are facelifts that we can do in the office. They're done under local uh, anesthetic, so you just have a couple injections, and then you don't feel anything. There's no sedation involved. And truly, it's, it's a nice, quick operation that gives you a good, refreshed look and a rested look. The whole face or just the neck, the jaw? It depends on the patient. You can do either the whole face or sometimes we do just isolate the neck or the pre-jowls, the jowling that some people say. What's the downtime? Downtime is about one week. Uh, sometimes it can be a little less. It really is patient dependent. Mm -hmm. Depends on how much work you have. And again, we talked about mm -hmm. expectations on what the patient's mm -hmm. expectations are. Now you're also doing something new on the skin called a fraxel. Mm -hmm. What's that? Fractal is, is basically a, a, a term used for fractionated laser. And what we use in our office is a fractionated CO2 laser. What that does is it actually resurfaces the skin. So it works fantastic for fine lines and wrinkles, even sometimes moderate lines and wrinkles, um, but also dyschromias, which are color differences in the skin, mm -hmm. and also for the skin texture. So you get that skin like a baby? You do. Ah. Uh, now, what advice can you give your patients to avoid some of the sagging and wrinkles that sort of are inevitable with age? Sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Sunscreen, a patient's best friend. It really is, mm -hmm. it really is. If we only knew that way back when, sure. um, I'd certainly see, be seeing a lot less uh, complications, skin cancers and things, but sunscreen is, is really the number one thing. Thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you.